What is up everyone? Welcome back to Naruto Online. Hope you guys are having a great week. My week has honestly been a little bit long, so sorry for the slightly late upload, but we're getting back into it. I've been quite busy this week, so I haven't had that much time to focus on Naruto Online. But we did get some nice things that came out this week. Some firework festival, there's new CN leaks, new CN ninjas, lots of good stuff. Let's actually start out by talking about the CN ninja. So they added a new Minato, Minato swimsuit, and probably the most interesting thing about him is he's got the like stealing standard attack that's kind of like Zabuza's. I don't really know how it works too well though, so we kind of need to see how it works, but I think it could be really good. So let's take a look. His mystery is actually really tame, like it just deals wind damage, 5 combo up to 9 units in the field, but if the unit you attack is suffering from a flying thunder tag, it increases the damage to 40% and it also causes interruption. So it's nothing too special. It's like a basic field mystery. Now the standard is causes wind damage to a random line of units and it increases Mito's attack by 6%. Pretty good there. And it has a high chance of causing repulse. His chase is the interesting one here. So he's got like low float to knockdown and it causes flying thunder tag. And this skill can't miss, which is really good. Can be triggered two times around. And then if your chakra is over 60, then Minato will also steal all standard attacks of that unit, which is kind of crazy. I'm pretty sure this is like all standard attacks, not just the extra attacks. So you could prevent someone from using their standards and it would kind of act like a blindness for that round. I'm not too sure how it works, but I think it could be really cool. Honestly, it could probably be a counter for like pain, like Sage's six pans. You put a ton of debuffs on that pain and then you use Minuto to steal all those standards. Could be something that could actually work. Require a lot of setup, but it would be fun to see. Okay, and then his passive one is while Minuto is alive, whenever you execute Chase attack, increases Combo rate by 6% and Temp Chakra. Honestly, a really bad passive in my opinion. Combo rate's pretty useless and Chakra gain's okay, but I would have preferred something better for scaling. And then the passive too is Minuto has a high chance of evading chase attacks. Units attacking Minuto will have a 65% chance to suffer from flying thunder attack and then whenever he evades an attack, recovers 6% HP. So yeah, the really only unique thing for Minuto is his chase there. But if this chase works properly, or like if it works how the way I think it does, could be actually really strong. Maybe combine it with like Genma, you could do something really cool where you have like a standard, since it attacks a random line of units, you could have repulse into low float and don't have like the chase cycle. So you could just like keep using your standard, steal some random unit standard and then use your standard again and steal some other units and then you like steal all their standards. Could be really funny to see, but we'll have to see how that kind of works out there. Now on top of that though, we did get also a leak. Looks like Kushida, probably either summer or swimsuit. Something in between there. Pretty excited though because all the Kushinas are really nice and I think that the transform also looks incredible. So I'm looking forward to that next week. Now on to EN news, we got a new breakthrough, Rasa. I don't have him 4 star because he's like only available in the ninja treasure. I only have him two star in fact. I just realized that they changed the font of this. This font doesn't look normal. Has the font always been like this? I feel like it has not. Oh that's kind of weird. Someone let me know if I'm like tripping or something. I have to take a look at some of my videos but I feel like the font was not always like this. Um, but going back to Rasa, Rasa is pretty good though. If you can manage to actually get him to four star, his kit is quite strong. Like he's got suppress immunity. His standard prevents Naruto from gaining mysteries. I don't know if it's glitched, but if it's been like discovered that if you hit him with this, it's impossible for Naruto to proc his standard, which means that he can't get extra mysteries. And then of course you've got his chase, which is honestly incredible which causes unavoidable damage and irremovable no cheating, which basically shuts down Naruto's six pads. And then to top it off, he's got a passive that makes just all your Edo Tensei plus Kage units pretty tanky. So yeah, overall really good ninja for breakthroughs. The just issue is how do you get his fragments? Cause I'm pretty sure the only way to get his fragments is from like the five Kage treasure or whatever, at a Tensei treasure. Yeah, like he's in here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the only place that you can really get him. Maybe he's in like some time limited ones as well, but either way, it takes seal scrolls and I don't have the luxury of seal scrolls right now. 
Even if he did, it would take like oh nine draws of him, which would be like 60 cycles, but then you have to cycle around like the gold and everything. It would probably take close to, I don't even know. I think it would take like over a thousand, maybe like 1,200, more if you're unlucky. So yeah, I don't actually know anyone who even has that high Rasa, but who knows, we might we might see him sometime. Now for the events here, we got like fireworks. They put in a Tsunade Jonin in here though, which kind of sucks because I'm pretty sure we've gotten her before for free. I mean, it's still nice though. And then like also in the shops here, we got some nice ninjas. You got Chikashoto Pain in here. There's Naruto Six Paths and then also like Wonderful Story. I think this used to be Kisame, um, but we also have like missions in here. So missions, they still have Prosperous Times. I don't even know how many weeks that Prosperous Times has been here. That being said, I still don't have the clothing, so I really can't complain that hard, but I feel like I would really just prefer something else. And then the ninjas in here kind of suck. Like, here's an Edo Tensei, not really used anymore. Karna Kimono isn't that great. I don't think anyone actually wants Sabuza. Ronin, Tsunami Swimsuit is a good pick, and I guess Madara is also nice. But still, I think they could have done a lot better in here. Like, these are meh ninjas. I want to see, like, some more up-to-date exotic ninjas. For the next event, we got Great Plates in here. They got Kushina Fragments in here. I think this is a great event to actually get Kushina Fragments. This is how we got Kushina for free on my alt. I actually got her, like, 4-star from Great Plates a long time ago. But the other two aren't that good. Like, Izanagi Danzo is not that great, and Asuma kind of sucks. And then after that we have Sakura's Festival in here where they got like Hanzo, Edo Tensei, Eye Fragments, she's in a Moon Fairy. A lot of fragments in this event, but mostly it's just nice for the free coupons though. And then last but not least we have Naruto Ramen Party, so you got like the Seasonal Ninja pack in here. I really don't think this event has changed all that much in a very long time. I, oh, I didn't know they had this here. New clothing optional pack? You can pick up some clothing in here. This could be good for me if I wanted to finish some of my clothing. Um, but yeah, this is like an event for like catching all the things that you can't find normally. Like, they have like the seasonal ninjas here, they got the old clothing, quote unquote old clothing there. Like, they put some summons that nobody ever uses. You got the two Hashirama and Madara fragments in here that you could get before for free, and now you can't get anymore. So yeah, it really just seems like an event where you catch all the things that you can't buy in other events normally. Oh yeah, by the way, if you guys are wondering why my power has been like so low and hasn't changed that much recently, it's not because I'm not playing, it's because I'm saving up my stuff. Because I, if I get more power right now, it's going to make a video that I want to make in the future more difficult. So I'm trying to r reduce as much of the stuff to increase power as I can for now until I get that video done. But I don't actually know when that's going to be done, so it might take a little bit of time. But in the meantime, we are stacking up quite a lot of items. Like, we have enough for another flag here. We have a tons and tons of training potions. Like, probably like in the thousands now. And so we're just waiting for that video to be done. And then we'll have like a sudden surge in power. Which could also be cool to see. So, yeah, just uh, wanted to let you guys know in case you like looked at my power and you're like, I haven't been increasing my power for a super long time and we're dropping behind. It's just nothing to worry about. Just me prepping for a video that... I've been working on for such a long time and still can't get it done because I'm missing a single ninja. I've got some things coming up in the future that I'm planning to change, like how I'm going to record these videos. I want to do like a cooler, I don't know, more exciting event reveal because how it works right now is you have the CN leaks on Monday and then you have the EN leaks on Tuesday. And so I want to do like record my videos in more sections. Right now I'm just recording them all in one sitting. I want to record like the CNs in one section and the ENs in one section and like the actual full the rest of the video in the third section and then combine them all together. It'll make it so I can release these videos a lot faster because that way I don't have to record and edit all of them in one sitting, which actually takes quite a bit of effort and this just helps split that up over time and make it like more flexible for me. And more importantly, it gets you like the reaction of me seeing the events in first hand, which I guess could be kind of troublesome because then I kind of like sit there and read for a little bit, but I'll, like, I can edit those out. But at least it gives you like the genuine reaction and it could be a lot cooler. So we'll see how that works out. But on top of that, I'm also getting some new equipment soon in the future. So hopefully better mic because this mic is 
starting to really grind on my wheels whenever I'm editing. There's a lot of little things you notice in there that just make the video not as perfect as you want it, uh, which makes it really frustrating when I'm trying to edit actually. So hopefully I can fix those up and everything will be going smoother in the future. Anyways though, that is all I have for you guys today. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, hit that like and subscribe button and I will see you guys next time. Peace out.